What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to more Gates of Hell. Now, occasionally and most of the time, I like to read through the comments that you guys have suggested through my videos and I read them all the time and I like to try and pick out a couple and make them into a video. And one really comment, good comment, caught my eye and it was by Alex Military B68 Five, which says which he commented on the video that I did on the full tutorial on the conquest 2.0 and everything you need to know and that was new at the time but seven days ago he commented saying how to add mods to it I have cheat mod active but it doesn't show up in conquest well today luckily for you Alex military I'm going to be answering that question now if you would like to see your comment in a video then make sure you subscribe to this video and if we can get to at least 10 likes then I will make another video where you guys have maybe asked a question and I will put them into a video form I can hopefully answer your question so without further ado I hope you guys do enjoy this and let's get straight into it so first thing that I would suggest is first of all pick a mod that is you know that is a cheap mod that is for conquest now one mod I would heavily suggest getting is is this one here which is cheap for conquest and it's made by a person called Vlad8011 and the reason I recommend this one overall is because number one it's got 294 rating a five star review and it gives you loads and loads of details about this mod now no other creators have created cheats for this mod. Now you're more than welcome to try out different types of cheap mods and I believe it or not I actually have other cheap mods for Conquest but this is the one I would probably highly recommend the most for people who are maybe new to the game and want to you know just cheat once in a lifetime because it's very simple to use, very easy to use and I'm going to be showing you now. So how do you actually add a mod and how are you able to see these cheat for Conquest in the actual Conquest? first of all what you want to do is make sure you are subscribed to the conquest and once you have downloaded this mod you'll be in the home page you're going to go to extras and you'll see that it says cheat with the wee little cheat logo here now that is really important look for logos as well that's something i would always recommend because if you have multiple cheat mods and you and they don't have the pictures on it or something or if you have multiple cheat mods, I mean, and you don't know which one, what to do is what you can also do. Uh, I'm speaking crap. Again, I'll repeat myself. Click actually on the mod itself, and what it'll do is it'll take you to that mod as well, so you know which one you've actually downloaded as well. So just a wee tip for you there. You, what you're going to do is once you've downloaded it, find it in your extra section and activate it. And make sure you properly activate it instead of just pressing, you know, active make sure you click apply as well and apply these changes so the mod is activated once the mod is activated you're going to go back to single player click conquest click create conquest now it doesn't matter what faction you do because the cheat mod for conquest is basically basically you have unlimited resources you have unlimited research points you have unlimited everything and I know that sounds like the ultimate cheat sheet, but that's basically the point of the mod is to have everything at your disposal with everything you've got. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to, for this case, I'm going Germany versus Russia on everything on high or wherever it is. And I'm going to put the economy on low because to be honest, it doesn't matter. You're, you have unlimited power anyway. And once you press continue, once you load into the screen here, you'll see a lot of big numbers. You can see that I have 9,999 research points, 99 million, 99,999 million trillion, I don't know whatever that number is, but you can visually see that now my mod is activated because I can visually see that this mod, I now have unlimited research points, you can see that I can just start unlocking everything here, I can just start unlocking, doesn't matter what it is, I can just unlock now everything, and by the way the Points do count up, but to us, you have so many research points that it doesn't really matter that you could probably just unlock everything here. And as you know, I've just unlocked this whole area with just 39 points. But that is how you 
are able to tell when these mods are activated. Now, another, I know, and you might not be able to see it maybe visually in, you know, in the actual screen here, but what is important is that you also read the description of the mod. That is absolutely crucial because some conquest mods have, and their creators suggest that you read the the actual description of the mod because the, each conquest cheat mod is different, and some may just apply to just the, the menu screen where they allow you to have you know all the changes to research points and all that, or some cheat mods basically give the, the enemy AI a completely disadvantage. So I would 100 million percent read the description of the mod. And what I mean is by looking here, look at the cheat mod here, read it carefully and fully down to see what changes and how it affects the conquest, the game that you're playing. Because I've been asked loads of time on different comments on videos that how do you add cheat mods to conquest? You know, how do they work? Number one, freaking look with your eyes. Read the description of the mod. It couldn't be easier than that. But also as well, you can you can visually now see it with me having 9,960 research points and and having unlimited space for all the you know sections here for putting you know anything I want in any section. So eight out of nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine space for the first section, nine, and it gives me a whole basically space for everything that I need. So there you go, guys. That is how you can tell visually and also by eyes. <laughs> I know that sounds sarcastic saying it, but I am. Is that that's that's how you can tell whether your mod is activated in Conquest, especially for cheat mods. So I hope this is helped and explained how you activate cheat mods within conquest and how you're also able to tell if the mod is actually cheat mod is actually active in conquest so other than that guys thank you so much for watching and our support and remember if you'd like to see one of your comments featured in a video then make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new and let me know down below what is your favorite type of mod to play in Gatesville, whether it's cheat for conquest or is it some sort of campaign or is it Star Wars mod? Let me know in the comments down below. But on that, guys, thank you so much for watching and our sport. Now, we'll see you in the next video. See you later and goodbye.